Okay, our scene is beautiful. Let's add a river. There's an ideal place for a river when we come over this ridge here and we come into this gully here. We could imagine lots of water flowing down and collecting underground here and becoming a spring. And then that spring flowing down through this gully and down into the opening down here past the wolves. So, how are we going to do that? We're going to use uh, RAM 2019 River Auto Material from Nature Manufacturer. Uh, $50 worth every penny if you want rivers. It does a really good job and is really quick and easy to work with um, in, in initial uh, creation and uh, can easily be hand tuned after that. So how do we create one? Really, really easy as I say. I've already imported River Auto Material, it's here. Uh, but to use it, we right click, do um, 3D object, and create river spline. That will create as an object. Uh, that object is somewhere semi-random in the scene. I like to have the object near the root, the, the root of the river or source of the river. So I move my camera, my scene view camera, and I hit Control Shift F, and then pull back, and there is the object itself. Now note when I did that, this warning turned up saying you shouldn't have any rotation on it and it should be size one. So we'll just get rid of the rotation. That was done by uh, my method of bringing it over here. And you can of course fine tune the position of this if you want to, but it's unimportant. What is important is what we're going to do in a moment, well I'll do right now, which is to create our first point on the river. So I want this to be like uh, where the water collects, but I want it to actually start from about here. To do that, control, left click. So I now have a point in my river. And I can, I can manually go down this and place the points where I want them. Um, that works very well, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to use the cheating method. I call it the cheating method. Um, click simulate. Click on this Show Simulated River button, and it flows the river down the mountain for us. Now, we are getting out into the open area there, so I want to do something slightly different here. I want to say Add Noise Width, and I want to be reasonably varied. And Oops, too much. Okay, so Show Simulate. And now you can see it's just changing its width as it goes along. That's probably a bit much. Let's reduce this. Okay, that looks reasonably what good. So click Generate Simulated River, and we have, with a, a placeholder texture, the river in place now. And you can see that it, it's trying its best to follow the flow of the rocks. Now, here, the rock is going up too much, and it can't actually get over that rock. We've got a number of choices here. We could edit the terrain, or we could just simply say, well, okay, we're not going to see the terrain now. It doesn't matter. Let's raise it up. In our case, that doesn't look so good because now our river is very large and I don't really want that. So I'm going to bring it down, go into the terrain, and get my terrain painting tools out. And have a nice small brush with a reasonable opacity. And I am going to lower the terrain. So that is uh, shift and left click. And we can see as it lowers, whoop, there we go. Now that's too much, so I'm going to raise it over here. I'm going to raise it a little here too. And here, because I want it to be nice and narrow at the top, you see. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go back to my river. And I've just realized I never named it. So we have wolves at the bottom, so we'll call it Wolf River. And now we can look at the next point on this uh, uh, terrain. Now down at the bottom here, we can probably afford to lift it up a little, but there's another thing we can do as well. Rather than manually um, editing all that, we can come down to here where it's really opening out and we can set, we can do something different. So go back into our points, go to the last point and remove it. Remove the one before. And what I'm doing is I'm removing all of the points up to about 
point five. Okay. Now, it's a little narrow here, so I'm going to have to get my terrain tools out again. Okay, looks okay. And it's probably a bit wide here, so I'm just going to raise it a little bit on this side. There we go. All right. And I probably want to add one more point after that, so go back to my river go to basic add point at end i'm going to select that point point number six just move it back i just don't uh, i don't want it just there i just want it at the bottom of these rock bits here and then go to terrain to allow that to flow through That's looking good now. Now, I want a second river to flow from there. And the reason I want a second river is I'm going to actually have it carve through the terrain for me. So up there, um, I already had a pretty good natural gully to follow. But down here, whilst there is a natural path for it to follow, it's not very defined. So I want to just cut away into that a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, name that upper river upper wolf river and then add in another river spline and call this one lower wolf river and I double clicked which is why it's gone over here I can go back to where I want double clicking on this one zoom in and get it to roughly where I want this new river select lower wolf river shift control F make sure that there is no rotation on it and now I can place the first point of this river and I want it to be here Shift left click. Oh, except I still have terrain. Control left click. And that is the first point now of that river. Okay, so make sure it overlaps. So move it back there a little bit. And now we're going to go to simulate again. To show the simulated river. That's looking pretty good, but we, uh, we appear to be trying to flow uphill again. So turn that off. Show simulated river. Right, can probably afford for it to be a little longer. And so to do that, we increase here. Okay, and now it's going right through the middle of where the wolves are, but that's okay. Maybe a hundred and maybe two hundred. Okay, and we'll put a lake down at the bottom here later. All right, so now we have that. We want to uh, generate that simulated river. Oh, forgot to add the noise. Let's add the noise in. Generate. There we go. And this time, I'm going to have the river carve out a gully for itself. And so to do that, you go to the Terrain tab and you, you define the kind of curve you want. Well, I want a, a, a steeper side than that. I want it to be quite steep, bottoming out. Okay, I would click Show Terrain Shape and it gives you an idea of what it's actually going to do in cutting that out. And you can see that... At the beginning here, it's a bit weird because we have this bit that hasn't been cut out and then all of a sudden, boom, this big cut out piece. But apart from that, this looks reasonably good. Probably want to make it a little less severe up towards the, uh, the beginning there. There we go, that's probably a bit better. And um, we probably want to add some noise. Okay, 
that's looking reasonably good so what this is going to do is it's going to carve out the terrain for us and make the river uh, more complete so carve terrain there we go we have a complete river almost straight away this bit isn't so great we probably want to just get our terrain painter here that's better okay couple of dodgy bits here so I just that out a bit and here we're trying to go oops we're trying to go uphill so we just okay and over here is a bit narrow and this piece looks a bit now remember we could do this by raising the points on the river that would work perfectly well now the last piece just it didn't inspect it make sure it's working okay I thought that looked pretty bad from the bottom there but actually when you get up here it looks okay all right so there we have the path of our river now we just need to give it well not just there's more to it but we need to give it a um, a profile so that it actually looks like a river so first we're going to do this piece up here and we're going to select a profile uh, let's go for mountain in this part so if we zoom in a little bit you can see we have a pretty strong flowing river getting a bit lost in the terrain oops terrain here so let's fix that okay and then when we get down to this part of the river the lower river we want to select a different profile um, let's try stream that looks okay ish the, the, the change between here and here obviously is a bit uh, a bit severe but we can uh, work with that This looks a little odd, so I can go in and I can select point 10. And I can move it over this way. Let the next one to move that over. Let's see seems to have resolved it yeah that looks okay all right we've got wolves standing in it we'll have to do something about that later but we appear to have a reasonably good river with the exception of this join here and I think that will be okay if we put some particles on that because we have a fast flowing river coming down. Maybe put some rocks. Uh, I like the way that it's coming round and splashing over this rock. So that looks pretty good. So um, we'll consider fixing that at another time. I think we're all right with that for now. All right. So there is our river or at least the first version of our river. Next episode, we will uh, plant this river because what we have down here is something that doesn't look very uh, realistic in with the grass being exactly the same going up to the river's edge. Just going to drop this down a bit here. There we go. That's better. And here we have the uh, near final rendering of this part of the video. We're going to do the plants next. We'll do the lake a little later. And there's a few other touches that we're going to do as well. So that's it for now. As ever, let's enjoy the view for a little while.